outstanding stuff. Uh, and, and I'm going to talk about another blast of cold that'll get here in time for Christmas. But before Art gets excited, there's not going to be any moisture left by the time that cold gets here. But that's a week away. We got plenty of time to get there, which means you only got about a week away to finish up all your Christmas shopping, by the way. So keep that in mind. 24 hour temperature cast for today, maybe a little different than what we normally expect. Forget about the fact that the temperatures are going to struggle to get back through the 50s. Normally we hit the bottom between 7, 730 and 8 o'clock. I think today we may not hit the bottom to maybe after 9 o'clock as we're going to continue pumping in some of this cooler air. Now that's going to dry things out, clear out the skies, but we're likely going to see those temperatures keep falling back through the 40s for another couple hours this morning and then slowly start to rise back into the 50s and that's all today. And then tonight, once the sun sets around 530, it's going to start getting cold in a hurry and tomorrow morning we'll wake up we're going to find a lot of temperatures back down near freezing. Still a bunch of clouds across the southeast. There's that big sloppy mess up in the northeast. There's some, some changeover up against the immediate coast, maybe out on Long Island. But as far as New York City goes, and especially interior sections of New York and through Pennsylvania and moving up through Vermont and Massachusetts, oh, it's going to be a big snow day up there again today. For us, we had our rain yesterday picked up a little bit more than an inch. That was excellent. Lots of thirsty lawns, gardens, and greens really drank that up and I think as we go through these next couple of days we clear we dry but we stay cool top temperatures today are going to have a real tough time morning temperatures they're not moving all that much just yet we're down to 44 in Valdosta we're 46 in Thomasville we're actually at up a degree at 49 now from a little bit earlier on this morning how about 45 at Bainbridge Blakely's down to 41 it's 44 in Mariana still 51 at the Big Man Technical College I see a 37 in Homerville, so we've got a pretty big variety of temperatures, and I do expect that to continue for the next couple of hours. Plus, I don't see a lot of fog out there, but I do have that breeze coming in from the northwest that's going to make it feel a little colder than it is. So it's not as cold as it'll be tomorrow morning. You're still going to want to put the bigger jackets on today, especially with that breeze that I think is going to stick around into the early afternoon. Once that breeze calms down and with higher pressure in charge and those skies staying clear, we get this shot of dry and cool air, and I think overnight temperatures these next two nights are going to be downright frosty. And then we'll start looking west for the next piece of energy, the next boundary. The air behind that one doesn't look all that impressive, but it's one farther down the road that looks like it could bring another significant shot of cooler air here. But that's not till the end of next week, and we got plenty of time to fine tune that for you. Future cast for today, I'm going to clear out those clouds. I think lots of sunshine is coming our way for later on today and for tomorrow and to start Saturday before we start to bring back some of those clouds. And of course, we'll start to warm things up gradually over the weekend. This is a quick shot of cool. It's about two days worth and it starts today on the Gulf today. Winds out of the northwest and north 8 to 16 seas 2 to 4 feet. We've got the low tides first up this morning a little before 10. Most of us in the 40s this morning, sunrise 728. I think this afternoon, I hope we get to the upper 50s. A lot of us probably going to top out in the lower and middle 50s, staying cool all day, even with the clearing skies. Tonight, frosty. I think temperatures are going to get all the way back down near 32. And our extended forecast has a tough time inching up those daytime highs past 60 these next couple. I think Saturday morning, almost as cold as Friday morning, but it should get a little bit more mild early next week. And if we're going to get some rain chances in the next seven days, Monday looks like our best shot.